back again, people, with How to Eat to Live by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The topic is fasting. The last one was about one meal a day. So this one is about fasting. Fasting is a greater cure of our ills, both mental as well as physical, than all of the drugs of the earth combined into one bottle or a billion bottles. Allah God in the person of Master Farad Muhammad has taught me that fasting with the right kind of food is the cure of our ills. He said to me that there is no cure in drugs and medicine. Wow. And this the world is now learning. We can take medicine all of our lives until it kills us, yet we are still ailing with the same old diseases or diseases. The bad foods and drinks that we are putting into our bodies keep us a victim to illness. There are very few nice doctors who like to tell you that drugs are not good for you because they they paid for their learning and want to keep practicing, but how to eat to live is what we want to know and have wanted to know all of our lives. All men and women want to know how they can prolong their lives. Nature teaches us to stay here in this life as long as we can. Nature has never taught anyone that we, excuse me, that he should leave this life and find another one somewhere else because we only have one life. And if this life is destroyed, we would have a hard time trying to get more life. It is impossible. So try to keep this life that you have as long as possible. Go when you cannot stay here any longer. Allah taught me that one meal a day would keep us here for a long time. We would live over a hundred years. Eating one meal a day every two days would lengthen, lengthen our lives. Just that much longer. He said to me that you would never be sick eating one meal every three days. The fact that fasting is the cure for 90% of our ills is known by the medical scientists, but they do not teach that to you, <coughs> or they, they do not teach you, teach you that. They know that tobacco, hard whiskey, and alcohol are not good for you and will shorten your life. And kill you. But most of them are too weak themselves to stop drinking, smoking, and chewing tobacco. So they do not teach you that tobacco and alcoholic drinks made into what is known as whiskey, beer, and wine are not good for you. Although they know it to be true. They will say, yes, it is good for you if you are temperate or moderate. But they know that once you start, you get started on that stuff, it is such an enemy that it just takes you into a into its power. And it, it excuse me, and it is almost like trying to break an iron chain to get away from the habit. So do not use tobacco in any form and you will live a few years longer fast a month for three days four days or for whatever length of time you are able to go without food without harming yourself and you will feel good did you know that if you would stop eating pig and the food that you should not eat 
Stop eating three or four times a day and stop drinking whiskey, beer, and wine. You would you would save much you would save much in the way of money. In prolonging your life by abstaining from the pig, alcoholic drinks and tobacco, you will also be adding money to your savings by hundreds and thousands of dollars. You will be depriving those pig raisers, tobacco, growers of alcoholic, distillers of millions of dollars of which they rob you as they hasten you to your grave. You could stop the tobacco growers from growing that stinky weed by turning away from the use of it. And you could stop the pig raising by not eating the stinking pig or hog. These things are deaf to our children in their early ages. They even affect the reproductive organs of the people in the early ages, as well as affect the heart, lungs, brain, and sharpness in thinking. And after all this, you die a victim of poison and commer excuse me, commercialization. Learn how to eat to live. Wow. You know, hey, like I said, man, you know, this ain't me talking. This is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, man. And now we have everybody, you know, all on the internet. You know, they're, you know, hey, don't get me wrong. I've, you know, put place, you know, photos and pictures of my before and after. But the thing about it is, I didn't. I'm not trying to be that type of guy that's all about futility and vanity. You know what I'm saying? Fasting is not about chiseled abs. It's not about the look. Look at me. It's not about that, man. It's about longevity. It's about HGH, human growth hormone. You know what I'm saying? One individual was asking... You know, in you know, you know, he was he made a comment. How was it? I think I was hitting the bag, and he was asking, "How was it? I was a, how was it? I'm able to put on muscle or maintain muscle? It's simple, you know. It's like your body, for one, produces HGH, human growth hormone, and the movement that y'all see me constantly doing, the number one movement, I do more deadlifts than squats. Why? Because that's a whole body exercise. Yes, squats is the king of leg exercises. But the deadlifts, especially at the age that I am, you know, it helps produce HGH. It helps produce your testosterone. All that shit about, you know, you can't... um you know, your testosterone levels go down, you know, as you uh, age. For me, that's bullshit. Excuse my French. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I go all day. I'm on my, I'm on my, my, uh, last night I ate at, right now it's 10 o'clock. So I'm going into, you know, almost, you know, uh, 25, 26 hours, and I'm not, my stomach is not, 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 because see, the thing about it is, I don't just ping out, I eat enough, I don't count calories, let that be understood, you know, I'm not no natural bodybuilder, I'm not no, uh, I'm not trying to prepare for a magazine shoot or anything, I just eat enough, you know, and whatever, is in excess, um, you know, it will be utilized for energy. You see what I'm saying? Um, I'm very active, so all that 
about, you know, you know, you're going to go back into 200s and now I'm 182 pounds. You know, when I have food in my body, it goes up to like 186, 187. And then, you know, the excess will be used as energy or it'll come out in the form of feces, you know, or urine or whatever. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, man, it, you know, 46 years old, I'll be 47 in October. It's October the 1st in about a week, little in about a, you know, about a week and a half. So, you know, don't take my word for it, man. I, I'm not trying to sell you something. I'm not trying to get no money from you. I'm not trying to, you know, um, you know, big up, you know, uh, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He's already, you know, he already got a bunch of thumbs ups and big ups in the home nine yards. I'm just basically telling you what this book, not the book, but this man right here, him, Malcolm X, great men of old time, ancients, you know, like, you know, Buddha Hara. You know, the father of martial arts, um, Sadata Gautama, you know, the, the aka the Buddha, Muhammad, even Abdullah. Huh? These men here, you know what I'm saying? They 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 fasted, man, you know, fasting has been around for thousands, millions of years. You know, over here in America, everybody's so obsessed with how they look. You know, they want to get into fasting. Why? Primarily, they want to look a certain type of way. Stop. Get away from that. That is going to come naturally, man. Focus on the essentials. What are the essentials? The essential of fasting is your brain health, your lungs, your liver, your heart, huh? If you if you have cancer in your family, you can prevent the prevent the 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 the, the production of cancer in your body through fasting. Learn how to cut out the alcohol, man. Learn how to cut out processed foods. If you want to eat processed foods, don't eat it every day, but gradually get it out your diet. You know what I'm saying? Um, my 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 dish tonight is um, simple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some uh, baked chicken and some you know Paul Bell rice. You know what I'm saying? And a jug of a, a gallon of water. I'm not going to drink the whole gallon, but some water. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then, man, I may, you know, eat me some cookies or whatever. Or eat me a piece of cake or whatever. But I don't go all day eating. You know? Today, I, I you know, I did deadlifts. I did pull-ups. I did, you know, uh, body weight dips. And I haven't had anything. I haven't even had, I haven't even had, um... A protein shake. None of that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just simple. You know? You can stay here long. You can prolong your life. But it's up to you, the individual. I don't care if you're black, white, brown, red, yellow. Green, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this, though. For the African-American, so-called African-American... Original people, Aboriginal people, Asiatic people. You need to incorporate fasting, man. To all people of so-called color. Spanish people too. You know, you know, a lot of Spanish people, they like to eat the pork, eat the pig, eat all that fried food and tortillas and all that. Then, hey, Kind of, you know what I'm saying, slow down all of that, slow down on all of that, as well as alcohol consumption, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we are indigenous people, man, Asiatic, man. You know, learn how to keep your body right, start working out, 
I work out in a fasted state. And then I go hours before I actually put food in my body. I'm not hungry, man. I don't I don't uh 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 live to eat. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know, I I I I you know, I eat to live. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. I don't, you know what I'm saying, go, you know, around in this life with the mentality that in order for me to um, live, I must eat. The eating, I eat what I need. Straight up and down. You know, when you get up in the morning... You're not necessarily hungry. The food that you ate the day before, your your liver turns it into stored glycogen. You know what I'm saying? And that glycogen is used for, for, for energy. See? But if you want to tap into your body fat and sp sp spare the, the stored glycogen, you sip on black coffee. No sugar, no cream. Straight up and down. I learned all of this reading this book and then the inmates, whether they realize it or not, well, when I was incarcerated, they fed us so bad that what I did was I would skip going into the chow hall and, you know, use top ramen noodle soups and eat two soups every day, sometimes three, depending on my workouts. You know, I would do jumping jacks, pull-ups, lunges, squats, monkey jumps for hours. Sometimes I train or worked out for three, three times a day just to do my time. See what I'm saying? Time didn't do me. I did it. But I worked out and I used food for energy. Straight up and down. And it's the same thing out here. You know, I don't have a macros calculator. I don't count calories. You know, I'm not working out to go on a stage. I'm I'm fine where I'm at right here. You know, anything else will be used for energy the following day. You know what I mean? So if you're thinking that I'm going to the gym and um, I mean I'm I'm taking pharmaceutical drugs or whatever the hell. No, the drug that I'm taking is fasting in the form of one meal a day, straight up and down. Some of these guys that you see on the internet, hey, yo, they doing their thing. Some of them lying to y'all, you know, 33% body fat and all that from fasting. You're a fucking liar. You know what I mean? And that's real talk. You know, you're really at your weakest when you lose that much body fat. You know what I mean? And that's just for real. But, um, yeah, man, you know, I'm able to maintain what I have and build muscle by doing heavy compound movements like deadlifts, squats, pull-ups, sometimes weighted pull-ups, sometimes weighted dips, lunges. <coughs> but the main thing is <coughs> those deadlifts, man. Because the deadlift's going to put muscles on you. It's going to help you lose weight. It's going to help you lose body fat. It's going to help you use the body fat in your body for energy. Straight up and down. <coughs> but anyway, y'all. Much love. And uh, if you find this video informative, man, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? If you're a hater. If you're a hater, hey. Hey, I welcome your com your comments, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just motivation, you know? Um, and that's real, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. One bill a day. Straight up and down. I thank the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And I thank Almighty God, you know what I'm saying? For giving him the, the, the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding to drop these jewels to individuals like myself. Not just for black people, but for humanity. Holla, people. Peace. Salam alaikum.